presented by Monteith's Best One Tire and Auto Care. Welcome to yet another week of Friday Night Football right here on WNDU. For one last time, I'm Matt Locke, joined by Drew Sanders. Yeah, it was a beautiful night for some football, and we're looking forward to getting to all the highlights from around the area when we start with our game of the week. It was a beautiful night at Steel Stadium. Keith Kinder facing his mentor and friend, Bart Curtis, whose Warsaw Tigers enter undefeated. Cavemen get the ball first. First play from scrimmage. It's Brady Fisher getting into the open field, applying a stiff arm. He gone. He gone. 73 yards, taking it to the house. That's the way you want to start a rivalry game in conference play. It's 7-0. Cavemen. Warsaw could only respond with a field goal. We pick things up third quarter. It's 20 to three Mishawaka. Novell Miller finish, finishing off a long drive. Going to make it 27 to three Cavemen. They're looking to put this away in the third, but the Tigers uh, storming back. A long drive capped off by Reed Zollinger. Warsaw not done yet, but it's still a three possession game. So work to do, but the Cavemen get the ball back on a short field. The Tigers fumbling it, something you can't do late in the game. Novell Miller. Flipping into the end zone, Mishawaka hand in Warsaw, their first loss on the year. They now sit in the driver's seat after the NLC win, 34-11 the final. I mean, it was a fun night. It was a really fun night, and uh, I, I thought all, all in all we played really well. So you're asking me at 925 on Friday, it feels really good. Tomorrow morning it's going to feel like we got a lot of work to do, so um, I appreciate it. My goodness, it feels great, you know. Lost to Northwood last year, and we're, we're here to turn that around. Oh, man, we just we did all the little things right, you know. We took care of the football. They had a few fumbles. And that, that was, that's, that's why we won. That's why we came on to, out on top. So we stay in the NLC. We go out to Northwood, taking on Plymouth. Georgia recruit Niterion Tuggle looking to stand out. He's done it a lot all year, starting in the red zone. Owen oh, Raider is going to find Tuggle, who goes up for the catch. There's three Plymouth Rockies around him. No one's going to be able to defend him. And the future Georgia Bulldog pulls in the touchdown. Later, Northwood trying to make a stop. The secondary comes in, and it's Niterion Tuggle again. <laughs> He's playing both sides of the ball here in Indiana, comes up with the pick. No matter what, if you throw the ball to Niterion Tuggle, it's going to be caught. It doesn't matter what position he's playing, it. so don't do it. Later, <laughs> Northwood trying to add some more. This time, the keeper in the red zone. Landon Perry breaking the tackle. That's going to put Northwood up by three possessions. A big bounce back win for the Panthers, who needed it desperately, 42 to seven. The win over Plymouth. Let's take a look at some other scores in the Northern Lakes Conference. Northridge and Wawa see with a battle. The Raiders come out on top with a 14 to seven win there. Concord over Goshen, 42 nothing in a battle that wasn't so close. Let's move on to some more highlights. John Glenn facing off against Bremen at Bremen and the Glenn student section traveled well. They're looking hyped up for this game. Just a pair of three and two teams going at it in conference play. We'll start off with John Glenn kicking it off to Bremen. This one you'll have to stay tuned for. Reese Green getting it way in the back, but he gets some nice blocks on this one for the green side and he breaks a few tackles to set Bremen up nicely with some good field position. Impressive return here. We'll see what Bremen's able to do with it. But I know one thing that Bremen student section loving that run and here they are hyping up their team. Moving on to that ensuing drive that I mentioned quarterback Silas Ladick looking to go long. He finds Tyus Graverson oh. or doesn't DB Chase Miller is there to make the big interception. So that will cause a Bremen turnover. The coaches proud of Miller for that play. We'll see what they're able to do with it on the other end. John Glenn taking the ball all the way into the red zone. They give it to Walter Drews for the short run. He gets across the goal line for six. Glenn goes on to dominate this one. Final score 42 nothing. We stick to the NIC out at Marion NIC battle between the Knights and the Penn Kingsmen. Penn trying to finish off the sweep and Mishawaka pick things up second quarter. They are leading and taking care of business. Mm -hmm. Adding some more Nolan McCullough Takes the snap, gets lost in the shuffle, but eventually <laughs> makes his way in for six. They're going to add two more on the two-point conversion. Marion looking for something to celebrate like Penn student section is right there. They find it on special teams. Hold them to a field goal attempt, knock down the field goal attempt. No points out of the drive, but Penn proven they are just too powerful. They come up with the big win, 41-13. Checkmate over the Knights. Yeah, strong finish out there for the Kingsmen. Looking at some NIC scores. New Prairie, huge win over Adams. They're still looking to get it together here midway through the season. 49-0 out there. And South Bend and St. Joe did battle in Elkhart. Lions got the better of them, 26-17. So the NLC 
looking to see who the contenders are, and I see it's still a mess mm -hmm. after Penn. Coming up, we're going to finish up Indiana with a look at an undefeated matchup in the Hoosier North Conference. And then we'll head up north to Michigan. We'll be right back after this break. Are you ready to play this game? Is it true that you have superhuman powers? Tell you about your burger? Hey, baby, you can get a bite anything you want to. <laughs> this is life. This isn't Maxim Magazine. Clear eyes, full hearts.